Hey, welcome to Neighborhood I'm Playlist. I'm going to stay still today, you guys. I'm DJ Head. I'm Monica. I'm Ani, and I'm going to stay still today because apparently I always move, and the mic is up here, and I mess it up. Daniel. Daniel's our producer. I'm Monica. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm still saying still, though. Oh, uh, So, yeah, we've introduced everybody. Um, if you're new to this video, which I'm pretty sure you're not, um, each week we choose songs. And if we agree collectively, or two out of three, whatever, then we'll add them to the neighborhood playlist, and Daniel gets to do all the work. How messed up would it be if like one person didn't agree and didn't get added, like just that because happens one every person? Week. No, like because no, if two of us agree, then it gets oh, added. Oh, like it has imagine, to be unanimous. Like, yeah, like imagine that would be everyone crazy. has to. Agree. Uh, that would like, be way songs? more difficult. No, nah, no, nah, nah, that's not gonna work. But then no our songs get added. Would be more refined. I mean, yeah, I mean, there was a couple songs that we all yeah, agreed on, so those must have been It'd be goals. six songs on this motherfucking thing out of... But how many weeks been doing this shit? Come on, Bodak Yellow, I remember we all voted for it, and look, it became Bodak a Bodak Yellow was on a... Yeah, it was back in June. Back in June. June Damn, we've been August. doing this shit since June. We need new co-hosts. We're going to do a co-host Yeah, we search. need to change head up, because apparently no one likes him. But until then... <laughs> please don't kick me off. <laughs> <laughs> That's, that's all I can say. That's please. a new technique that the bachelors and the bachelorette should use on television. Uh, just you just please, please don't, me. don't don't kick me off. off. I don't want to go back home yet. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Not ready to see mom and dad yet. So um, um, this week, Ani's gonna go first with her song. Yay! I'm so excited for this song because I'm obsessed with it. It's off of XX Extension. Did I say Tentacion. right? Tentacion. I can never. I can't get it say right. that shit either. Wait, XX Tentacion. It's off his album. It's called I Don't Even Speak Spanish. LOL. <laughs> Like a lullaby Dance with me through the night Back to me cause a baby slide And if you're wondering, yes, the LOL is really there. So it's called I Don't Even Speak Spanish, LOL. It has three features on there, and I'm not going to lie to you. I don't remember everyone's name. And the reason is, although this up. isn't it. Yeah. Well, it's Carlos, and then I don't know how don't to say. Don't even start, because you're going to fuck it yeah. up. So, There's three motherfuckers on there with him. And here's, <laughs> no, here's the cool part about that. All of these three guys that he chose are also from Florida, because he's from Florida. So all three of them are from Florida, and they have, like, less than 200 SoundCloud followers, each of them. So they're not very well known and one of them he has like one tweet on twitter and what's really dope is that he's giving them the he's giving them this platform to expose them and at the first day that this album was released that's this specific song had 3.5 million streams and i'm just like that's really dope of him that he's pushing these artists aside and just aside from that his entire album question mark is just so different and so interesting like there's something on there for everyone and this song i feel like is for everyone so, I don't know. This is my song. I'm really feeling this song. I love it. And if you guys don't pick it, I will fucking be pissed off. Well. I just want to point that out. Listen. It's going to be a fight. I'm going to get my opinion next. I am going to say yes. I'm going to add the song. Okay. I and but I, but I do want to say this, though. I am not a. XXX Tentacion. I'm not a fan. I, I really am not a fan. And it's not having nothing to do with his music. This I did run through the album briefly. Uh, I didn't get through all the songs. But. Most of the album I got through, and it's not bad. I no. actually think that the album, and a couple of people who I know personally within the industry, record labels and stuff like that, have told me, like, yo, you got to check his music out. It's not bad. Like, I forgot what artist I was in the studio with, and they said, yo, his album is really good. I couldn't believe mm -hmm. it. And when I'm listening to him, I'm like, this motherfucker album is actually really kind of good. Like, it's the I'm not mad at the album, dog. And you fucking crazy. You know what I'm saying? Like, all the antics and the you retiring, you ain't put out a, put out another he album. going through something. I, I don't know what kind of uh, depressants you were on or whatever, but whatever that shit is, keep taking that shit. Because this music is incredible. And it's way better than the other shit I heard from you. And just... This is a classic example of people just needing to shut the fuck up and make music. Because when it's just no different than Kanye getting in all of the trouble that he get in with his mouth. Except um, I like when Kanye ran. XXX getting in trouble with his mouth. Certain other artists that we've already discussed on this show, when they put out music and just shut the fuck up and make good music, it just speaks for itself. So shout out to him. Um... Antics aside, I think the song is good. I think the album, from what I've heard, is pretty good. I'm like 65, 70% through the album. So. You obviously heard the introduction, right? Yes. You guys have to listen to the introduction before you listen to the full album. That almost like a question a mark. I don't, is that what is that? Yeah, called? and the question mark. And he That's the name of the album? Yeah, it's a question mark. And then if you go on Apple Music or anywhere, it says in parentheses question mark. Like it says that's the name of it. 
Oh, so it's the symbol. The I know it's mark. the symbol, but what's the name of the album? Question, question mark. mark. That's what it says on Apple Music. All right. But yeah, so just listen to the introduction because he explains to you that it's not about the lyrics; it's about the vibe and the feeling. Yeah, it's actually not bad. I'm not mad at it. But are mm -hmm. we gonna start a fight? He's still weird as fuck, though. Like, do something with your eyes and, and that. Y'all leave him alone. I'm just Jesus saying. Christ, All right, you go. said it's going. Self expression. <laughs> um. Yeah, I like the whole album. Woo! I listened okay, to it right when it came out. So, yeah, this song goes for me. Um, I don't know. There were a lot of songs I liked on the album. I just like that he's experimenting with different sounds. Like like he said in the introduction, like, open your mind. Like, if you only listen to just, like, hip-hop and you don't listen to any alternative, just, like, open your mind when you listen to this and check it out because I really like the whole album. It goes for me. I mean, yeah, there's a few songs that we were just talking about where she was just like, I don't really like it. I was like, same, and Daniel, too. But for the most part, I'd say, like, 99 percent of it I like. I didn't really like that sad song. I ain't gonna lie. I actually like that song a lot. No, I like changes more though in this song. My more, favorite but. songs were Moonlight and Going Down was good. Um, I want to know why he called the song I Can't. I don't even speak Spanish lol. What the and fuck is that about? I don't know what that means about, he doesn't but speak Spanish because like when I first Spanish heard it I was like song. is that him singing? And he but then I realized until... like, like when I heard his verse I was like okay no that's not him singing. This is his verse. I liked his verse a lot. Um, yeah. yeah. I'm Listen, I'm the old guy. Listen, your songs got to make sense, okay? It makes sense, though, because <laughs> it's a very Spanish vibey song. Like, it's a Spanish vibe. I like the Caribbean vibe. And Daniel, yeah. our producer, said that I look like a Wakandan dancer. And so he was being really uh, ju uh, judgy. So judgy. That's a that's a that's Can a technical term. Can we make term. that into a meme? Judgy. Yeah, he's being judgy. While Head says that. Wow. Go ahead, Monica. Please don't make it into a meme. My song? Mm -hmm. Okay, my song is Vic Mensa and Valet. The song is called Dim Sum. Don't know about you, but I got my own money. Hundred thousand on me. And have fashion on me. Hey. So this song, um, I really like the beat. I like the flute. We've talked about this before. Oh the songs that have flute on it, it just sounds so good to me. Some but um, bullshit. Because it's so long, the flute. All right, go ahead, go ahead. Um, I'm kidding. But I actually liked... The style of rap on this song was very simplistic, but I liked it for the song because I feel like the beat was so dope. If it was like a bunch of rapidy rap, it would have taken away from it, you know? So that's how rapidy I feel rap. about the song. Rapidy it's rap. really chill. If they were actually, actually saying some shit, if it was like it'd be rap. fucked up. <laughs> no, but I actually just like, I was out in the hallway and I walked in and Head was listening to the song and just like immediately I just felt transformed. I was like, oh, this is like such a nice song. Like just great vibes. It just sets the ambiance, I feel like. Um, what do you think? I think this shit is terrible. And the thing is, here's the thing. I know I'm not going to add it to the playlist. I am an advocate for Vic Mensa. I don't know who this dude is, but Valet, if you have Vic Mensa's family and you're holding them hostage for him to do this song with you, I suggest you let them go immediately because we will report you to the proper authorities. Other than that, um, I was searching for some context because I have no idea. I think this is like Vic Mensa's. He got to be related or something. Just a favor. Or the big homie. Something. I don't know. Vic Miss is dope. This other dude. You got threatened last time. I just want you to know by Comethazine for talking a lot of shit. I'm not talking shit. I'm being honest. This is an opinionated show. So, um, and I'm going to stand by this opinion. The song is not good. Okay? Vic Mensa. Don't you like the part where they're like, hey. No. And I don't like the fact hey. that uh, this is how I know it's some bullshit. Because Vic Mensa, and I asked Monica before we started, Vic Mensa didn't rap. Until, like, the end of the fucking song. It was, like, eight bars at the end of the song. That's it. But somehow it's Vic Mensa. Oh, no, I like how they come together at the end. It's actually Vic, then Valet, then they both, like, go back and forth line by line. I like that. It's like a marriage. Yeah, but where the fuck was Vic in the first three minutes? He was in the... I didn't hear... I, didn't, I don't know. I yeah, was... but that's because we listened to the songs last minute. No, 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 no. I was watching Vic Mensa's mouth in the video. We didn't, we didn't, I didn't listen to the song. I watched the video. And I was really excited to hear, because I'm, I'm an advocate for Vic Mensa. I think Vic Mensa is really underrated. I think he's super dope. I don't necessarily know about this va valet. valet guy. I did, however, which you saw me, go and watch two other songs from Valet, just so I could figure mm -hmm. out who he this did. guy is. Because I'm not just an asshole who just be shitting on people. I went to check out the other song that this dude had. is actually cool. It's called, like, I Want to Be Something. That one that was actually cool. This song is not good. It's really? Not the other two songs you were listening to, I was like, wow, these do seem like trash. Like, he's totally... No, the first song was trash. No. The, the second one was... The first song was, was our... good. The second two that you listened to, I thought were trash. We have, like, opposite Yeah, we... we tastes. Yeah, it, it is what it is. 
Um, All right. Well. But yeah, this song is not good. And shout out to Vic Mensa. Valet, I like your other song. I don't like this shit. West Coast. I feel like I'm the melting pot for you guys because <laughs> one, this song was really like, I really like this song. I'm definitely going to download it and listen to it on my drive yeah. home. But to Monica, when he started playing the other songs that Valet had, I actually thought it was really dope. Really? Yeah, oh, I was like, like how are you so guys? ignorant. Like, there is no stuff. You said something that's so ignorant? Yeah, yeah, you guys, was. Tell was, me shout out to Cole Methodine. You know what no, I'm saying? No, like, I don't get like, how you guys are complete polar opposites when it comes to this same <laughs> art because he was good in both of them like I didn't really hear a huge difference and I'm like listening to you guys talk how do you guys how how did you think that was trash and how did you think that was trash so you thought his other stuff was good like it doesn't make Dead sense Sam to me it's not trash and he said it's trash like it's horrible it's really not and I think this is another way that Vic Mensa is showing another creative side of yeah, his yeah it sounds like, so different than yeah like he... keep an open mind and Monica like come on ballet song was good like I'm sitting here listening to you guys <laughs> I'm, I still haven't moved, by the way. Like, my butt has been in the same place. Uh, I've been moving today. <laughs> my hand's been moving, but if you guys pay attention, this hasn't. But I, this goes for me, and so does his other song, if we were going to... I want to what? I forgot what the name of the song was. I forgot, was. and he's cute. What the fuck out of here, Are we talking about I saw his I about ballet or Vic Yes, Mensa. no, ballet, when he pulled up his video. Vic is cute. No, because Daniel was saying something, and I was like, ooh, and he thought I was talking to him, and I turned to him, I'm like, oh, did you say something? He's like, oh, I said something. Excuse he said, me, ooh, I thought you were talking hormone to me. Hormone Kardashian. Listen, <laughs> fucking, no, okay. That's racist, <laughs> because I'm Armenian? Perhaps. So that's racist. I said perhaps. That's I, it was, Perhaps it's not an admission of guilt. You're racist. I'm, I'm So anyway, oh um, I don't know what, how we got to this juncture, <laughs> but that song is not good. They gonna add it anyway against my will. It's I'm okay with that. Against your will. I'm, I was brought to this country against my will, so I'm good. You're with right. All, so with, was I. It, it um, is what it is. Okay. West Coast. My song. Um, shout out to the homie Two Chains. Two Chains featuring Offset YG. It's called Proud. I'm just tryna make my mama proud. I ain't tryna let my mama down. Yeah. I'm just tryna make my mama proud. Yeah. Yeah. I ain't tryna let my mama down. I just wanna make my mama proud. I can just totally, I can just totally relate to this song. I think it's dope. And once again, on this show, on this show, God damn it, I'm gonna say it again, and I'm gonna keep saying it. Y'all gonna give Two Chains his fucking respect. Okay, Two Chains is actually good, and he's dope, and he be saying shit for years, and I get tired of people not giving him his him, him his respect. So anyway, this song um it's off his upcoming album. Actually, no, it's off his mixtape. It's off his mixtape. He just dropped it over over the winter break or whatever. He has a he has a full featured album. The mixtape he dropped it was only like eight songs. I ran through it. Proud was pretty much the only one I liked off of the project. Um. And I do like the fact that they have their mothers in the video. Now, the video hasn't dropped oh. yet. I don't know what's slow dragging on the video, but they shot the video like back in February. And YG leaked a clip of the video of 2 Chainz' mom and his mom dancing in the video. So I thought that was cool. Outside of a trap house, it's 2 Chainz. Um, But I thought it was dope. I think it's a dope collaboration. I like the fact that Chains and YG and Offset are all on the same song because I think that's just a great combination of fucking energy like on a song um two chains with his vibe yg on some west coast shit and then of course offset doing what he do and i'm actually very impressed with offset's verse i think that he's getting so much better sonically um not necessarily i don't necessarily know lyrically because i haven't listened to a lot of his lyrics but i like the fact that offset the way he's riding beats now is fucking amazing rick flair drip is a, a classic example of <laughs> His his ability to I think all I think all three of the Migos like we were talking to Yachty about it are getting exceptionally better. So I think it's a dope song. I just want to make my mama proud. What do you think? Uh, I am like the way that she already uh, says it, where she's just like, oh. well, you know, you so just heard- you just didn't do it for me. <laughs> I I you know I still I didn't climax. <laughs> you know I'm just. Pretty much. I mean, I heard this song on it the first day it came out. I think it was like two weeks ago, right? It dropped or something. Um, it's just not something I would listen to. Like every time it comes up on my playlist, because I listen to just like random playlists, I always skip it. I've heard it through and I just, you know, it's just something I don't vibe with, I guess. And it just feels very like serious to me. And it's like, I just want to make them. It's like, I love 2 Chains, you know, I, I'll give him his respect. But this song, it's just... I just don't like listening to it. What's like your I, I naturally song? skip it. Um, 
I liked his first album, so I like like. I don't know, birthday song or like different or, you know. I'm different. Yeah, I'm different. Different was good. Yeah. Yeah. So it was birthday song because Kanye was birthday on it. Birthday song was cool. Kanye was on it. It's always. I like different. on the West Coast shit. But Kanye was on it. All right. Too. So Monica says no. Sorry. I say it goes. And just off this mixtape, he said this was the only song. No. If you have you not heard OK Bitch? Yes. Yeah, it's, uh, it's a girl song. No. That shit that's goes actually, that's hard. That's what I was also going to say. This feels like a very masculine song to me. Like, the energy is just, like, very yeah. masculine, you know? So, I just, it just. I mean, it goes for me because to. I love listening to YG. I love listening to 2 Chains. I, Offset, I actually, people don't give him the credit he deserves. But when you go back to it. Most of the songs and the lyrics that you're singing when it comes to the Migos music is Offset's verse, mm. but people don't give him that credit. And I mean, again, like you said, we were talking to Yachty, and he was just like, "Man, Takeoff is so smart." And we all know Quavo is dope as fuck. But when you have YG on something, more than likely, I'm gonna say yeah, yeah. more than likely. So it's like it's a bias her with time, I mean, with there time were, no, there are parts of the song like I like YG's verse. I like Offset's YG's verse. But so like, you want ratchet? T- t- like I no love it. I just don't like like. The chorus, pretty much. So just I just don't hook. like the whole vibe of the song, but they did their thing on their verses. Oh, so it's just, I just don't like the song. So what if we took off, took the took the hook off of the song and just let the beat play? Would that you, might be good. You would add the song? If yeah. there are no lyrics. <laughs> maybe it was a different, if it was a different chorus, maybe. I still do think that OK Bitch is better off this mixtape. Yeah, I didn't but really fuck with that. I blast that song all day, every day. Yeah, it looks weird. Um, but, but yeah, check. it goes for me. Yes, yeah, so we'll add it. So all our songs got added. Um, I, like I still haven't moved. My legs have been in the same place. I've moved with my hands. Nice. But I have. But like, you've been leaning in and yeah, moving your torso. Yeah, but I haven't. No, if you look at this, when you guys watch the video, this much of me has not moved. I was very conscious, you guys. I was waiting until the end to say that. Oh, well, congratulations. Y'all give a round of applause for Ani. Woo! I did it. All right, you can... Listen Daniel. to our songs. The links are in the description. And please comment and tell us what you liked, what you didn't like. Yeah, let us know in the comments because we read the comments. And then again, like, I'll be like, Monica, did you see this? Head, look, they're talking shit about you. <laughs> look at that. So we like when you guys talk shit about him. Get Monica. rid of the black guy. All that kind of shit. You know what I'm saying? Remove the black guy. You guys, guy, if that's anyone ever saying. tells you they don't read their YouTube comments, they are lying. Everyone reads every comment. She has to remind me when I come in in the morning to, hey, did you read the comments? I'm like, nah, nah I'll go look at them. But then he'll be, he'll be like, oh, shit. I'm people like, oh, shit. give a fuck? People cool. That's that's crazy. Cool. It's still um Wait, dope. people are really watching this? Yeah. I, you know, whatever. Um, So, yeah. Make sure that you comment because they get a kick out of it and I'll read them. And Don't say the mean stuff. They'll though. respond and, you know, all you do is shooting your shot in the comments. You look crazy. Just want to let you know. No, you don't. You make our day. That's what you do. They don't. Listen, let me tell you guys something and then we'll close. Women don't give a fuck about you internet dudes giving them compliments. They just use you for a false sense of, uh, like, affirmation. And then that's it. That's not true. Now, if you <laughs> leave a comment to someone and it makes their day, personally, I feel good about myself. I'm like, I'm great. I'm happy that I made your day. Yeah, like, if it takes, do make you happy. If it, like, makes, it takes one comment to make your day, here you go. Nothing goes from me. These women are using you as an auxiliary source no, for happiness. No, because I comment on people's pages whenever I like something, so I'll be like, yo, that's dope. I'm not expecting anything back. I just want you to know that I think you're dope. All right, well, y'all comment and shit like Don't that. Don't be grumpy like All right? him. It's a neighborhood playlist, West Coast.